Let's take a detailed look at one of the notes from Tools Group Iterator. You need to click Add Node to add it. Then go to Tools. And here is Iterator. Iterator is an action type node made for sequential processing of elements from the data received. To configure this node, you need to fill out the only field it has data to iterate. You can use JSON objects or arrays as inputs or any key value pairs, or you can fill it out manually. You may use the upper connection to attach nodes that should be executed as many times as there are elements in the array or key value pair. So if I add here um, set variables is going to be executed twice. After compiling the series of iterations, the iterator is going to execute the node that is connected to the right connection. Let's add a web response, for example. So here, information comes to iterator, set variables is executed twice, and webhook response is executed after that once. To demonstrate an iterator, let's create a workflow, which result will be an array of document names from this Google Drive folder. First, let's add a webhook trigger. This node doesn't require any special settings, but it has the URL where a GET signal will be sent. And let's add a Google Drive node. List files. So this node retrieves information from the Google Drive folder. I need a connection token here. I need only a registration to get it. So choose the drive and the folder. And save. Let's save the project and run it once to make the data flow. OK, request accepted. Here we have our doc names. And let's add an iterator. Tools, iterator. And here we have the only field is a result from the previous node. Save it here, save once again, and let's run once again. OK, now we have some input here. Let's add a um, set of variables to the top. Here we need to insert key. Our key is list. And here we need to add, uh, add a function. And here, name from the iterator. That's how it should look. Save. And let's add a webhook response. In webhook response, we need to fill out the body with the variables of list. Saving our project. And let's run it once again. LTD, LT101, LT1. Here they are. Deploy the project so it's public now.